Hey folks, we're in the uh, laboratory of death, <laughs> aka my garage. Uh, one of you guys asked if uh, I would do something, and that is hit the foam with a hammer. Now, knowing this for a fact, uh, when I hit it, hit the, I'm gonna hit this foam. Uh, I have a normal packing foam, and then I have the graphene foam. Uh, when I hit these foams, this probably what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna hit this and it will crunch in a little bit but it won't do anything and then I'm gonna hit this and it's gonna like smush and then it'll deflect the energy uh, the reason being is that this material is by all standards uh, if you know material science and everything would be more brittle than this okay but then I'm gonna show you I'm gonna splice in another video of a comparison of uh, basically it just holding some sort of weight uh, the pieces are roughly the same thickness uh, and then I'll, I'll do the whole thing and you'll see like basically we're going to do a little balancing act of like until it breaks how how much junk can we stack on it uh, till it snaps just to just to give you guys an idea uh, because they're the same source material uh, you know you'll, you'll see it, 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 in other words a foam that's more for structure and Really, in all honesty, it's more like balsa wood, I would say. that That is the best thing. I mean, uh, way back in the day, I used to uh, fly model airplanes when I was a kid. Uh, now they're called drones or whatever. But, I mean, this is when you had to construct them out of wood and glue and uh, nefarious chemicals and everything like that. Anyway, long story short, there you go. And a little other background, uh, full disclosure, uh, my father is a carpenter so since i was knee high uh i learned how to drive a nail um uh, i've been known to be able to drive a 16 penny nail in one whack uh probably not anymore because i'm uh more girl than man according to construction workers uh that's not disparaging girls i'm just saying that uh girls don't normally hit nails very hard with a hammer uh, but I will do exactly how I would set a uh, roofing nail like that kind of strike so it's not like I'm I'm not a I'm not a maniac I'm not going to stand wham and try to kill this foam because then you won't see anything but here we go ready so here's the here's the regular foam and it'll be like a, a you know a good smack and yeah I, and I could feel I actually drove it into the concrete almost but yeah you can see it's just a little indentation it absorbed most of the energy, and you can push down, and you can see how it's all, you know, whatever. It, it didn't even go through, but you can see how it, you might be able to see it's it's a little discolored and and uh, misshapen because of the fact that I crushed all the cells through. Here we go. And it sticks. And that gives you a good idea of how deep it was. I didn't actually expect that. But it's about, it's about, uh, about a quarter inch deep. Uh, or... For you uh, uh, metric folk, about five millimeters. Uh, no, yeah, five millimeters. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. And then I'll splice in the other video of like me stacking stuff on it just for fun. All right, at the laboratory of death part two uh, with the foam. Okay, just so you see, there's no funky business. Uh, you got that. Let's give it a little more footing. Here we go. Okay. So we got a certain distance apart, all that good stuff. And what do we do? None other than we place pieces of aluminum stock on the foam. Because this is really the only way I can do this, because I don't have a meter. So we're going to play Jenga. This is not good. This does not look good for the old uh, standard foam. Ready? Now let's do the one more piece and... Ah, huh? it's it's holding, it's holding. Look at that. Okay, one more, one more. Okay, so there you go. So this is the whole. Now this is solid. That's solid as well. Let's see, this is a solid piece. Then I'm milling out. This one solid as well. And this one's hollow. So it. I mean, we're talking about. Maybe eight pounds. Maybe. Maybe. Here we go. Let's get 
that right. All right, here we go. Ready? So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put the foam on here. I'm pretty confident that this is gonna hold up. All the pieces. All right, now it's unstable. Okay, so screw that. Do 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 do. You know what I'll do? I'll one up it. Uh, this is pretty big. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, no break. <laughs> it's just a little hard to get it on there. So that is a solid bar stock weighing about twice as much as all these other little pieces. Yeah, why not? Let's put all the little pieces on there. Right, here we go. Oh no, look. There's that. There's the next one. We're trying to hold it up. I'm actually applying downward pressure, so here we go. Still no break. Well, I can't really break it. Ah, there we go. So, if that gives you an idea of how much. I would say 30 pounds. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the weight. I'll find out what the exact weights are and then do an update. But this is very heavy. It was $80 worth of aluminum. So, if that gives you an idea of how much this is. Um, there you go. Till next time. Uh, and I'll put it in the comment section in the bottom how much this all ended up weighing. Uh, there you go.